The three most common financial statements are the balance sheet, the income statement, and the statement of cash flows. But most people don't look at the statement of cash flows, and I think it's the most important one of the three. Because cash is the most important part of your business. Without it, you don't have a business. Here's an example of, of a really basic income statement, and it shows the revenue, which is a million dollars, that's the sales, how much money it costs to make that revenue, which is $600,000, and then your gross profit, which are your revenue minus cost of revenue, which is $400,000. Then you have operating expenses. These are costs not directly involved in making a product, but involved in the business, such as payroll for your accounting or payroll for your legal team or research and development. Gross profit minus operating expenses gives you your operating profit. Then you have to pay taxes, and that's $60,000. Your net income is $90,000. Net income is called a profit or loss, but it's not actual cash. You might not have gotten any cash from this $90,000. The way you figure out how much cash you receive for the given period is you look at the statement of cash flows. The statement of cash flows converts your net income into cash. The income statement reports a lot of non-cash items. I just put one non-cash item just to simplify the process and show you an example. I have statement of cash flows one and statement of cash flows two. These are two separate companies. We're going to assume they had identical income statements. So the way you start the statement of cash flows, it starts with the net income, then you adjust for the non-cash items. In statement of cash flows one, this company sold a million dollars of product, but $200,000 of that was on credit. So they didn't actually collect the cash. They booked accounts receivable, which means customers owe them money. They gave them credit for either 30, 60, 90 days, whatever the terms are. So you have to adjust for that on your statement of cash flows. So your cash flow from operations is actually negative. You lost $110,000 in cash flow that year. For this company in statement of cash flows too, they also had the identical same income statement where they had net income of $90,000, but they only extended $20,000 of credit on the million dollars of sales. The other $980,000 they collected in cash. So their cash flow from operations is positive $70,000. Obviously, this is a much better situation. That's why looking at the income statement does not give you the full picture. You have to look at the statement of cash flows to understand how the business is operating. This is a really simplified example, but there's so many other things on a statement of cash flows that could affect a company's future. So a company can have a billion dollars of sales and tons of net income, but that's all accounting. If it has no cash, Eventually, it's going to go bankrupt because it needs cash to pay its bills.